Hey y'all, welcome back to Sidewinder Shed. Okay, I was cooking some hot dogs. We're gonna make some chili dogs and I'm cooking on the wood stove here. Um, the wife called. I had to answer that. And so I cut off the last video real quick. Um, yeah, and again, I do not have an editing app. So once this damn phone stops recording for whatever reason, be it my fault or I have to answer a call or whatever, I can't put the two together like I used to be able to. Okay? So please forgive me. So this is Cooking Inside Wonder Shed Part 2. Um, give me a second. I have to stoke up the stove and, uh, add a little bit more fuel to the fire. And that's just with the stove, not with the wife. And that's what I was trying to avoid adding fuel to the fire with the wife. But anyway, let's look at the wood stove, see what we got going on in here. Um, then we'll continue cooking. should be good and let's not burn the charging cord put my insulator back there we go put this back up there okay You guys back here. Uh, let's put this pan back on the heat. Actually, we're gonna have a little bit more butter to it. I think. And if I can find what I did with the butter. I think my brother-in-law John trying to be helpful. Took the butter back in the house. So, okay. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a moron. I am a moron. And please, John, forgive me. For being a moron. I'm gonna... Put a couple more slices of butter. On the pan here. And we're going to stir that up a little bit. And as you can see, this pan is still very warm. Okay. Now, again, very simple thing, hot dog. Gonna add a few of these to them. Put these on the back. Let them start early. And 11, 12. There we go. Let them fill right along. Okay. We can close uh, the draft on it. On that side. Open this side up a little bit. 
Not to tell we control the heat. And I'll be right back. Yeah, guys, I know, I'm sorry. I've been procrastinating, working on that engine. It's, uh, honestly, like I've said before, this channel is not just about one thing in particular. It's basically about my life, about how I do things, now in the uh, 21st century. You know, again, I wish my father, my mother, and my grandparents had this technology and had this available a hundred years ago so I could see what they were doing. But they didn't, and we do. So I'm gonna take full advantage of it. And just uh, not document every single thing I do, but uh, let's videotape and document a few things that I've learned from the preceding generations. Um, and one, yeah, is cooking on a wood stove with cast iron pans. Um, not too many people do that nowadays in the 21st century. As a matter of fact, nowadays it's getting to the point where a wood-burning stove pollutes the atmosphere way too much. I mean, forget about the fact that for five, six thousand years we used wood to cook with and it never polluted the atmosphere. All of a sudden now it does. I mean there are other things that pollute the atmosphere and create a global condition worse than a wood stove, but you know what? The rich people use those things. The poor people use a wood stove. So what's easier to regulate and make it harder to get and use? Yeah, what the poor people use. Just an observation, just babbling here while I'm cooking, that's all, but think about it. Alright, well, you all saw what was going on with the first one. You get the basic idea here. So, I'm not going to make this a 30 minute long second video. But I do want to say again, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays to everyone. Happy New Year. Be safe, be kind to each other. Be nice. Be tolerant. And when I say be tolerant, don't be tolerant just because somebody agrees with you. Be tolerant to those that don't agree with you, that have a different lifestyle than you. Be nice to them. Be tolerant of their opinions, thoughts, and feelings. Uh, not to the point where it screws your day up. Stand for yourself. But uh, be as tolerant as you can. Anyway, thank you all. Have a good evening. Merry Christmas.